Sidewalk flowers. By John Arno Lawson and Sidney Smith. There once was a little girl named Sophie. Sophie loved to wear her red shirt because the, br the color was bright and made her happy. Every day, her dad would pick her up from school and walk her home. Sophie loved the walks home from school. She would always love to watch the people walk by with smiles on their faces. Today was different, though. People weren't smiling. They looked sad. Sophie's dad was distracted, though, and didn't notice when she slipped away to get a flower out of the sidewalk. The burst of color made her happy and see the world a little bl brighter. The streets seemed to glow around her in bursts of color from the apples at the fruit stand to the yellow taxis honking their horns as they passed by. The people still seemed sad, though, and they were too distracted to enjoy the colors, even though they were beautiful. Another pop of color caught Sophie's eye. Sophie slipped away again from her dad and picked the flower from the wall. Her bunch of flowers was growing, and it made her happy. It also gave her an idea. At the bus stop, Sophie saw a bright yellow flower and was able to slip away from her dad to get the flower. She gave it to a woman at the bus stop with flowers on her dress and made her day a little better. Sophie started to feel good about giving a flower to a random person. It feels nice to be nice to people, she thought to herself. Her world started to get brighter, and she noticed all the brightly colored glass in the store window as they passed by. It made her smile. While her dad hailed a taxi, Sophie ran quickly to get the flower she saw on the sidewalk in front of the Chinese food restaurant. She bent down, looking up at the dragon, and plucked the flower from in between the crack and added it to her bunch. Sophie found another purple flower in the sidewalk crack while she and her dad were waiting to cross the street. Sophie followed her dad quietly smelling the flowers that made her so happy. Her dad was distracted though, so Sophie had to practically run to keep up with him. He was in a hurry. She held on to her dad's hand as they entered the park. Sophie stopped suddenly when they came across a bird in the middle of the path. Her dad kept walking and asking her to hurry up so they would get home sooner. Sophie stopped, though, and looked at the bird. It was dead, and it made her feel sad. Sophie had an idea, though, of how to make it a little better. She had been to a funeral only once for her great-grandmother, but she knew what you were supposed to do. As she ran to catch up with her dad, she looked back at the bird on the sidewalk with a pile of beautiful flowers on its chest. Now everyone would know that someone cared about that bird. In the park, Sophie and her dad came across a man sleeping on a bench. She knew that she shouldn't wake him up, but she wanted to give him something to make his day better. So she slipped a flower into the top of his shoe. That way he could find it like a present when he woke up. They came out the other side of the park, and Sophie knew they were almost home. Sophie's dad had to stop to talk to one of the neighbors, but Sophie stepped to the side so she could play with his dog, Henry. Henry looked impatient standing there, waiting to go on his walk. Sophie scratched him behind the ears, though, and left a present for him in his collar. Sophie's dad was starting to relax now that they were close to home. He waved at the neighbors as he passed by and started to smile a little. Sophie's mom was waiting at the top of the stairs. She had been waiting for her husband and daughter to come home for a while now. She looked worried. Sophie ran up the steps, eager to hug her mom hello. While she was hugging her, she put some flowers in her hair to make her feel a little better. Her mom started to smile like she wasn't so worried anymore. Sophie ran through the to the backyard where her brother and sister were playing and put flowers in their hair to make their days better. Her brother smiled because he felt special. Sophie had one more flower though and she kept it for herself. It made her feel happy as she looked up at the birds flying overhead. Everything was bright and colorful to Sophie. She planned on giving away more sidewalk flowers tomorrow.